Da 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 Batman, Batman. Da 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 Batman, Batman. Da 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 Batman, Batman. Da 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 Batman, Batman. Da 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 Batman, Batman. Da 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 Batman, Batman. Na 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 Batman, Batman. Na 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 Batman. Crazy Cat Lee or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Katie Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Blade. It's like it's all he did. Well, those years ago. See. No, I don't want to do any more of it. Stupid. All right, we want Martha here and. Did you ever want to watch an episode that does not have a main character in it that's named after the show, and yet you still find it enjoyable? That's what I was basically, I just did. So yeah, I mean, he technically he's in it, but not much. This is basically just telling the story about his nemesis, or, um, I don't know, I feel so more sorry for her than Penguin, but okay. So this is episode four, Penguin, and we're gonna learn about Sophia and how literally how she was drove insane because her dad, I guess, I don't know. It's hard to tell, it's hard to figure out, did she actually do it? Or did her dad really um, have somebody else kill those women? But I, I'm gonna go with the assumption that she did not do it, that she did not kill those women because how she was at the beginning of this episode. So this movie, this episode's mostly a flashback, half of it is flashback. Um, ha happens when Sophia learns the truth that Penguin killed her brother. Like, she, in the first episode, she believed that he killed her. So I don't know why she finds it so hard that he killed him. So I don't know why she finds it so hard to believe that Penguin killed Alberto. And, um, he already, um, turned, or he stabbed her in the back once. And we find out later on that right here. So this is like, I don't know, like a, maybe like 11 years ago, you could say, since it says she was in Arkham for a decade before they let her out. And... She is, um, trying to be a Falcone girl, dealing with the fact that her dad, her mom, um, offed herself. Deal with that. And the only person to really on her side is her brother. Her dad is trying to give, keep her under control, I guess. And Penguin is her driver. She has, like, a couple of parties that she goes to where, um, her dad's in charge. And there's a reporter, a, 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 a journalist, whatever, that keeps on asking her questions about all these women that are dying that made it look like they're doing the same thing that her mom did and she does not want to talk about because um her dad told her not to and one night penguin finds her talking to her about it and gets her out of there and then um her dad calls her during one of the parties and asks her we don't talk to journalists reporters at all and here you are just doing that so i guess Falcone makes sure that she gets punished about it by sending her to Arkham and making her beef one that's framed for all these women that got killed. Now this one hard time she, um, she's there she's gonna say I'm innocent I'm innocent I'm innocent and one of the jails one of the other ladies who are supposed to be um having like have chains around them and on their neck doesn't and goes and attacks her and there's also one one called Magpie who tries to be her friend and who treats like the medicine that they're giving Candy, who's um right next door to her. I'm kind of happy it's not Harley, because <laughs> I'm even though I love Harley, I get her her you know the attention. So it's kind of nice to have it be somebody else here. That well, especially what she does later on to Magpie <laughs> too. And there's two doctors here, one that's on her side and one that's not. When we find out later, is actually her doctor who's um her therapist. So. The one who had no chains comes and beats up Sophia, and, s and nobody stops her from beating her up. And uh, they end up having her... She's saying, I'm innocent, why did you guys let nobody stop her? And this part kind of reminds me, if you ever watch Return to Oz, I'm gonna, I am gonna watch Return to Oz eventually this week. Because it's, it's just a little bit remind me of uh, Halloween, in a way. So I'm gonna watch that one. And since I haven't talked about that one yet, during this time period. And this part does remind me of Return to Oz, because what happens here to um, Sophia. 
is that they give her shock treatment in order to make her guests act the way she's supposed to. Like she's guilty, but she keeps on saying I'm innocent. And she's hidden here for six months. And while, while she's um getting the shock fit treatment, she's like, she thinks she's um seeing patterns on her walls of um, and she keeps on peeling it slowly. I think she's actually hallucinating. And as she peels it more, as she gets more shock value, more shock treatments from the mean doctor and the other one's trying to like comfort her and saying maybe she's innocent we see a one of her victims or her mom hanging then she wakes up and she feels that she's choking and then the nice doctor comes and tells her that you have a visitor and it's it's Alberto telling her that you won't get a trial. She was supposed to get a trial in six months, and now she's not going to get it because parents her whole entire family wrote a bunch of letters. We find out later to say that she should not be going to um that she's not that she's not ready, she's not fit to go to trial, and so she's going to stay in there without trial. And I don't even know that's impossible. Usually, when you're like a victim, you're supposed to have some way to defend yourself and. Sophia doesn't have no way of doing that. I guess since these guys are gangsters, regular Al Capones, they're able to convince the doctors, the judges, a lawyer not to give her a fair not to give her trial at all. So yeah, and the only ones are on our side is her brother and and, and actually the nice doctor too. Because then um, after this, she goes and kills Magpie or something like that. I mean, it hit her hard enough, hit her a lot by banging her on the wall because she keeps on saying, "We're gonna be friends and you're gonna have a lot." Out of candy and she just hits her in the head a lot and she gets sh shot and then she's back in therapy with the with the nice doctor and so she's now she's out of um the flashbacks over and maybe she said maybe she should go to um italy because that's where um her uncle tells her to go go to there but it's the last night she's supposed to go tomorrow to italy and she decides no i'm not gonna go to italy and there's a little girl there, I'm guessing it's either her niece or cousin or something like that. They don't really explain. I know this little girl's supposed to be a Falcon, but I'm not sure how she's related to Sophie, who um, wants to get a piece of cake. And while they're eating, like, spaghetti, she, um, like, shows the food to the little, little, little girl, and the little girl laughs. And, um, her uncle is, like, giving a speech about how good, how great of a family we are. And then Sophia stands up, and her mom, and the little girl's mom tells her, you need to go to bed. And the little girl says, what about cake? And she says, you need to go to bed. You're going to hear bad things. You stay here, basically. <laughs> and what's basically, yeah, you hear bad things about, because she names all the girls that she hurt. And kind of reminds me of, every, have you ever watched like a true crime thing of um Jack the Ripper? And I have heard all those girls' names. Jeez. So hearing, but this technically she did actually kill more than him. Or, or, or it. Because we don't know. And how she also says, Technically, one of them has a bigger kill count than her, and she says that you guys all wrote notes to make sure I stayed in um, Arkham, and I want to make sure that tomorrow is a better day. And she does. She grabs the little girl and um, gives her cake finally. And while she's doing this, I'm guessing there's like gas going through the house because when she wakes up, she tells the little girl to go back to sleep, and they're like in the little garden area. She goes back inside, she grabs a gas mask, and turns off the gas. And I guess one of the, her relatives, it's not her uncle, because her uncle's already dead, her uncle's already dead, because she's walking around and seeing them, that they're all on the floor, dead, and because she uh, literally gassed them to death. I had a feeling she was going to kill them all, but I thought since they were eating dinner, I thought she was going to poison them. But no, she gasps them. And she wakes up, um, the one that keeps on telling her to be quiet during the dinner. is saying, okay, that's enough. And it says, okay, wake up. We gotta talk. And she has a gun. And then the episode ends. So, even though this real one did not really have Penguin in it, except for, like, the very beginning. And he's just being her driver. This one's more about Sophia. And I think I like, even though I'm not really, would not probably watch this one at all. If it wasn't uh, Batman and stuff. I think it was, um, good. Because it, it was, like, showing... Do we think that she's innocent or do we not know she doesn't or not? I think that, she, like I said, I think she was at this thing that literally she was drove insane because she went to a terrible place where they would not believe her and then they gave her shock therapy. <laughs> and only one person was on her side, but he really couldn't do anything because he was just an underling. And he ends up quitting because of um, he couldn't stand watching her be tortured, basically. So probably gonna need this one like an, um, an 8 out of 10. So I'll see you guys later. Like, favorite, subscribe, and... 
Bye bye. Martha Butler. This is Batman calling from Wayne Manor with a shout out just for you. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. <laughs> okay. Now, this is Kevin. Well, good luck with your um, crazy uh, cat lady game reviewer podcast. <laughs>